Yo, what's up everybody? It's David Brodeur, aka Brilli, and today in this quick tip, I'm going to show you how to reduce the noise in your render, specifically with the Spectral AID Noiser and Octane, but we're going to look at a couple other settings here as well. Now, if you haven't yet checked out my other tutorial, Optimize Your Renders in Octane, definitely go through and check that out now, and that's where I go through all these render settings here and show you how to optimize your render which will increase your workflow, your performance, and obviously your render times. Now in this example, I've gone extremely low on my sample count here. I went down to five, so I could really push the amount of noise that we see overall here in my image. Now, what's really cool here in the live viewer in Octane, you have your main pass, your denoise pass, and your noise pass that you can kind of take a look at here. You can see what this would look like before and after with that denoise now there's just entirely not enough samples in here for it to actually smooth out all that noise and grain so you know you can't just come in here and drop this value down as low as you can possibly do and say hey i'm just going to throw a denoiser on it's not going to have enough samples to actually clean it up in a smooth way that you'd be satisfied with at least the other thing is when you're doing an animation, you're going to want to check on static noise when you're using denoise. The static noise being checked on and enabled here will make it so there's a little less splotchiness. Now on a still image, it doesn't matter at all, so you don't have to do it. I'm going to keep my sample count low here though, so we can just look at the overall noise that's happening and a couple other features. So I don't have any volumes in here, so I'm not even gonna bother looking at that. But one other thing that I do wanna show you is I have this hot pixel removal here. And hot pixel removal, you can see there's a, a, a subtle change here when I bring it up or bring it down. Sometimes artists get confused at the difference between hot pixel and noise that's happening within your scene. Hot pixels is more artifacting. And sometimes your render settings could have something to do with that. Some of your settings might just be up entirely high and it's making additional calculations where it doesn't really need to do that to improve your image at all, which is why I suggested watching my Optimize Your Renders in Octane tutorial. And another thing about the hot pixel removal, I've noticed that if I go below about 0.46, Yes, that's a very specific number. When I started going below this value, I started noticing some of the details, that granular level detail, were getting softened up a bit too much. Now, if you're doing something stylized, that might not matter at all, and you can probably drop this really low. But if you're doing something where there's more granular level detail, you can't just drop the hot pixel removal to zero. It does soften up your entire image. So um, that threshold for me is anywhere between one and 0.46. Um, for this example, I'm using point six okay now this blend all this blend is doing is blending between your denoised and the main version that's it it's literally kind of an opacity shift um eh, i don't use this entirely all that much i'll either use the denoised or i won't and so sometimes i use other plugins in after effects such as neat video um, sometimes i use a conjunction you know having a little bit of noise in here is sometimes nice but sometimes i'll just add noise in in after effects that's entirely up to you most of the time i want some sort of grain in my renders doesn't matter don't want them super super clean they start looking a little fake a little odd but really subtle grain is kind of a good thing as far as creating more of a filmic quality and look to your renders so a couple things just to take in here you can't just drop your sample count as low as you want and hope that the D noise will clean that up it just won't it will do its best but it doesn't have enough information to really smooth anything out right you can see there um, if i just bring it down to one but if i were to bring this up to you know something like 50 for example you'll see that this is going to start getting me very close to something that's usable now for a still image this would be perfect i have a feeling though it's going to give me a splotchier render and what i mean by splotchy not just like grain but larger than grain, you know, multiple pixels of kind of chatteriness in that render where it's trying to clean up the noise but doesn't really have enough information. So it's gonna change slightly from frame to frame on how it's trying to clean up that noise. Um, so for a still image, yes, you can get away with this. Even for something like an automatic, you can get away with it as well. Now, the only other thing that you need to make sure you do is in your render settings in Octane, you have to come in here and say use denoise beauty pass and enable that. Otherwise, it will not be rendering with this denoise pass baked into your beauty pass in your final render. 
So that's it, everybody. Really, really simple. But if you have not been using the Spectral AID Noiser, you are really missing out on saving tons and tons of time on your final renders. Really simple to use. And sometimes it's just about knowing where it is.